at Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway and starting this one, Cutter Crawford. He's someone you can rely on to provide quality innings in almost every one of his starts, Boog. He knows how to command the mound. His stuff is good, and sometimes it's even better than good. If he gets off to a fast start, look out. It could be a tough day for this lineup. All right, ready to go here. And now number 12, the pitch. Inside corner for a strike, and we are underway. And the righty deals. That one found hard the other way. Oh, and two now. He goes down looking. This is J.J. Blade. That strike one finds one. the zone. That's strike one. Oh, one. And a pitch. That misses oh. the zone. And that is one ball one. one. One out, base is empty. This to third, Devers whips it to first. Two up, two down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Two outs, space is empty. On a line, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. So man aboard. Next to hit Brent Rooker. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Well, pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. And it stays fair. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And... You know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Runner at first with two away. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. Oh. Just missed. Rooker off of first with two away. That catches the corner. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. Struck him out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show.
And we're back here at Fenway Park. And on the hill today, number 38. Boog, you don't always know what to expect with this guy on the mound. There are times he's really good, but that's not always the case. For me, I want to see how aggressive he's going to be out there. We'll see it right away if he's pitching with confidence. And if he is, he should be just fine. And stepping in is the speedy Jaron Duran. As the lefty gets to work. Bunting for a hit, he pops it up. Nevin makes the grab on the run. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Willier Abreu stands in now and watches strike one. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. <laughs> so important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. Here's Tyler O'Neill. And that one's a little bit low. And that's ball one. And that's outside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Butler pulls it down and he makes the catch. Out number two. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And here is Devers. And a good eye there. And now the lefty. And that one missing low. 2 will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. And a strike to Devers. Step off throw to first. Abreu back in on a dive. The pitch. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And that'll do it. And the Red Sox leave one. And it remains one nothing. Back inside Fenway Park, all set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Shea Langoliers. The pitch. Strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That clips the corner. Well, that's textbook pitching right there. I mean, he executed those first two pitches perfectly. Time to check in our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Got him swinging. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone, and as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that, and so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command, and it got him a punch out that time. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. And that one a little below the knees. Ball one. One down, base is empty. There's a strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. One and two, count. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. A's leading by a run here at the top of the second. <laughs> Got him looking. And it's a three up, three down inning. And one, two, three go the A's. They lead it one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, and Manuel Valdez. And he deals. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. And there's a foul ball. <laughs> Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now here is Connor Wong. Fastball for a strike. Here comes the 0-1. There's a line drive to left field. Andujar pulls it down, and there's two gone. The first baseman, Dom Smith stands in. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Hammer, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Out of the third inning, digging in for Oakland, Lawrence Butler. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Butler goes six feet, three inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2018. Oh. 
Owen two now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. And it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, J.J. Bladé. 0 for 1 so far. Just off the outside edge, ball one. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. And delivers outside. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Three two. And he walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Anduhar in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Lede off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Duran raging back towards the wall. And it hits off the monster coming home. He scores and they take a two run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balanced swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat. And it is probably out of here. Man at second here with two away. Now at the plate, Brent Rooker. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And yeah. that's in for a strike. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Good eye right there. One on one. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's out to center field. Snags it on the run. And that is that. A's get one on the RBI double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway, and now the shortstop, David Hamilton. The shortstop, David Hamilton. And the pitch just oh, missed. Not. 
Now fly ball to right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. So digging in, Sidane Rafaela. Fastball for a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0 and 2. The A's up by two here in the last half of the third. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's the 0 2. That one just misses. It's a good take. That one missing inside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. The pitch. Struck him out looking. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Duran in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. Ground ball left side and it goes just foul. Up and in, now two and two. That one is upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. And they're down two nothing. Back here at Fenway, out of the fourth, digging in for Oakland, Tyler Soderstrom. The right-hander back to work. Not close with that one, 1-0. One and oh. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox nation, but there is something to that because the Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. He's 0 for 1. One ball, no in the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. They travel really well, and I think Red Sox fans are sprinkled all over the country. At the belt and fires. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. Good eye in that spot. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And they add to the lead. It's 4 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off.
And now it's going to be Tyler Nevin. And a foul ball. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Righty delivers. And that one pulled foul. Nobody on, nobody out. A pair of runs across in the inning. Top half of inning number four. That's the third. Devers sends it across the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now that the second baseman. That. Next up for the A's, Zach Geloff. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. On the ground to Devers. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it bangs off the monster. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Here's the shortstop at the play. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. There's a strike. And a pitch. And that one's a little bit low. And the count even one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Kelly up and throwing. Back up the middle and a base hit. Around third. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 5-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, J.J. Bladé. And first offering is fouled off. Pickoff throw, and he's back in on a dive. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Three runs, four hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the A's five and the Red Sox nothing. Back here in Boston, ready to go, bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Willier Abreu. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. One, two now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there, typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And now here is Tyler O'Neill. He's 0 for 1. 
the bit behind with that swing it's strike one he got away with one there but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this one down base is empty ball one there in the air right side and it falls kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that you have to bury it otherwise it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time Devers now line drive caught that swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Next to hit, and Manuel Valdez struck out swinging his first time. Swing and a miss as he was late. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Over to first, and he's safe. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back there. And it's out of here. A massive home run. And they cut into the deficit. It's 5-2. That one just sounded different. And it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. That's in there. Strike one. Way inside, gets out of the way. The Athletics leading by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a strike on the outside edge. On the ground to third. Sends it to first out with room to spare and that's the inning two runs for Boston on the home run it's 5-2 Back here in Boston, digging in, Miguel Andujar. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one out to right. Abreu on his way over. Brings it in. One down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. One for two, he had an RBI base hit back in the first. That's outside, and that is ball one. And there's a ball. Just missed. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. There's the strike.
That's a strike. You got a full count. One down, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. Three and two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. Grinding A-B right here, about to see pitch number 10. That one ripped left field. Back there. And out of here. He deposits that one into the monster seats. He'll touch them all. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Cutter Crawford done for the night, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Zach Kelly comes on now. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. So one out, nobody on. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. Late with the swing there. Oh and one. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. Going to now. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. That'll fire up the dugout. It's 7-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Wouldn't chase that time. And the 1 0. And it's fouled away. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. and misses it's a strikeout that's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there just nasty looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly Nevin in the box again takes the strike Next offering misses down and away. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Fastball for a strike. Now one and two. Two 
Two down, nobody on. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 7-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Fenway Park. Now it's Dominic Smith. The first baseman. Dominic Smith. And here it comes. Just missed. You know, these Red Sox just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hit. Swing and a drive, deep right field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. So, man aboard. David Hamilton will hit next. Up the middle, Geloff tosses to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Up next to the the center fielder, today, Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Struck out looking in his first at bat. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And another ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Base hit and a run in to score. Everything came together for him. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Ball one and a pitch inside. Man at first, one away. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Abreu, up for the third time here, watches that one miss. And a pitch. That one ripped. That's back. See you later. They must be going crazy in the dugout. It's 7-6. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. One out, base is empty. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. One for two. And that's in for a strike. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly.
the pitch that one ran inside almost got him swings and misses struck him out way out in front of that inside pitch there and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes you want to let the ball travel make sure you recognize it try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play clearly fooled but I think even more so you question the two strike approach swing and a ball popped up has a beat on it makes the grab and that's the inning but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a 7-6 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now at Fenway. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Zach Geloff. The wind and the pitch. Kelly, a 6 3 righty. He features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a two seamer. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. And they add a run. It's 8-6. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Now a chance for Lawrence Butler. Found back our way, and that's out of play. And he'll one. Swing and a miss. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's. One for three. Clips the corner. Oh, and one. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Up next to open. The center field. JJ. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, JJ Bladé. A strikeout and a walk. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He's got it, and that'll do it. Oakland gets one on this homer. It's now As the lefty gets to work, that one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Scott Alexander getting ready to go. McFarland also throwing. 
Left hand hitter waits. Fly ball to right. Butler under it. And there's one away. Now it's going to be Connor Wong. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The A's leading by two here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 38 won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's. Number 37. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. One gone runner at first. So stepping in for Boston, Dominic Smith. And fouled off. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Just missed. Wong leads off first with one away. Runner on the go. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. The throw to third, and the throw's offline, safe at third. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Two on, one out. Now, David Hamilton. Outfield playing pretty shallow. The shortstop takes a ball. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Sidane Rafaela up next. First and third, one down. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. Three and one. And that one fouled off. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two on, one out, and that's ball four. 
Good patience to take that walk and keep the line moving, and it sets up a critical at bat coming up with the bases loaded here. And next for the Red Sox, Sedin Rafaela. Golden opportunity right here. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Laser could be extra bases. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. Three runs are in. And it's 9-8. And he'll make it into third with a triple. Just a huge at bat right there. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Back to the top of the lineup, Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. That one's in there, 0 and 1. One away with a runner at third. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. That one missed. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at-bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Next offering is outside. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. One run game. One out. One on. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Payoff pitch. Inside ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Willier Abreu now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. That's in there. Strike one. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. And strike two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Hammer down the line. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Around third. The relay throw. He is safe. And they lead by three. Nicely done. Brings home two. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Scott Alexander takes over on the mound. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So now the DH spot, Tyler O'Neill. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 12-8. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. 
fifth man aboard, and here is Devers. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Now snap throw to first. And he's back safely. The pitch. That's the ball. That's inside. Run around the move. Pitch inside. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Bounced up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And Devers is set down. The second baseman. And Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. He's already homered in this game. That catches the zone for a strike. Going one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. That one to first. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Runner from second scores as they add on. 13 to 8 is our score. Comes through with the RBI. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So two down and stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. Hard hit left side. They take the force out, out, and thank goodness the inning is at last over. But they take the lead on a huge seven-run outburst. We're through six full. The Red Sox on top, 13 to 8. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Chris Martin. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Here's Miguel and Duhar. Miguel and Duhar. And the pitch. That's a little bit low. Martin. He's made a name for himself as a very effective reliever, but not really what you expect from a bullpen arm these days because he's not out there racking up K's. Swings and chases a low one there. I think it's the deception and his ability to change arm angles and slots and give hitters different looks within one at bat. They're never able to get comfortable when you only see him once. A lot of times he has success. Finds its way through base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Got to be clever, too, when you don't have that lights-out stuff, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you got to know what you're able to do. Instead of focusing on what that hitter's strength is, stay with your strength and trust that you'll come out on top. Rooker in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh and one. Now the 0-1. Foul ball there. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. In the air out to center. Settles under this one. Makes the catch. Man at first, and here is Tyler Soderstrom. Oh, 
And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. On Duhar, the base runner at first with one out. That clips the zone. Now two balls and a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Taps softly to the right side. The underhand flip out on the underhand toss. And now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And a good eye there. There's a strike. Man on second, two down. And there's a ball. That one not close. Counts full three and two. The Red Sox leading by five here in the top half of inning number seven. Right handed reliever. Clobbered to right field. Way back. Gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 13-10. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. There was a cutter away. Kind of works like a slider. you got to stay on it, let it travel a little bit, and then get your arms extended. Really good piece of hitting right there. Number 63 gets the ball now. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now pitching for the Red Sox. Number 63. Justin. Base is empty with two away. Now the third baseman, Tyler Nevin. There's a strike. Hey partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey kind of hieroglyphics style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox in 2019? I think there were, were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined? My scorecard was ugly for that series. Two outs. And another ball. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens, so like it's just a mosaic over there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always judging the different pens. Like, you know, I get the skinny scoring pen, and then I have the red. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Seventh inning stretch time. Major League Baseball is on the show. And we're back, bottom of the seventh, and here is Dominic Smith. And he deals. That one hammered center field. That's going back. Back some more. Got all of that one. And they boost their lead. It's 14-10. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter.
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. And first offering is fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That's down and in, a slider missed. One, one. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So a man aboard. And now the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. And first offering is fouled off. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. To third. And it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. He's in there. A couple of singles back to back. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. So out of the pen comes the right hander, Osvaldo Beto. So the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Jaron Duran. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Hey. Checks over to first, back safely. Runners on the corners, no outs. And ball one. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Two-two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. So stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And a foul ball. A one down. That's inside. Ground ball right side could be two. Soderstrom to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We look ahead to inning number eight. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play righty to the plate foul back our way and that's out of play right hander kicks deals one and two the Red Sox with some bullpen action. Greg Weiser up and loosening in the pen. Winkowski getting cranked up as well. The wind of the pitch. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Bounce to the right. Gathers and throws to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The right And now Lawrence Butler. That clips a corner. The Red Sox leading by four, and we're in the top of the eighth. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Got him looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Now, here's the leadoff hitter for the A's. Just missed. The 1 0. That one fouled off. The pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Pitch misses inside. Two and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got it. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now it's the DH, Tyler O'Neill. The pitch. And that one hammered. And it's gone. And they add on. It's 15 10. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Well, he did a really nice job of letting that ball travel. It wasn't too quick. He kept the shoulder square to home plate, which allows you to drive the ball to the opposite field with power. We see the power and the authority, and fortunately, he's lucky enough to keep it fair. Devers now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that is a foul ball. The 0 2. 
And that skips in the dirt. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And another ball. Nobody on, nobody out. Here are the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next pitch inside, and it's three and two. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location, but the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Valdez batting with one down takes a strike. Now he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And the right hander deals. And they'll do it again. The 0 2. Got it by him for the K. Now here is Connor Wong. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that, that one ripped left field, and it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. Throws to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Greg Weiser. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the center fielder, J.J. Bladé. And a pitch. Just oh, missed. Weiser, a righty that throws with power. 29 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. The 1 0. Right side. And it gets by him. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Man at first, digging in for Oakland, Miguel Andujar. Ball one, no strikes. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Lede gets his lead at first with nobody out. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Action in the pen down there. Isaiah Campbell appears to be getting loose. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. And now the DH, Brent Rooker. There's the strike of the knees. The Red Sox leading by five here at the top of the ninth. Dive, and he's got it. From his backside, there's one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. 
What an exciting finish to this game. An amazing play right there. It's hard for the fans to go home. They want more. They're not ready to leave and head to their cars. But an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end. 15-10 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.